Hey everyone, welcome to another deep dive with us. Always fun. Today we're tackling a topic that's making a lot of noise in the crypto world right now. Yeah, it's been pretty wild. Dogecoin. It started as a joke, a meme coin. Right, <laughs> just for laughs. But um, lately it's gotten really interesting mm -hmm. with the U.S. election coming up. Definitely a factor. And Elon Musk, well, you know, he's everywhere. Always is. We've got a ton of YouTube videos here from crypto experts. Just some big names. All weighing in on where Dogecoin might be headed. It's be interesting. But before we jump in, I wanted to quickly mention something for anyone looking to boost their online income. Okay. Brian Garvin. And that's Brian with an I. He's got an amazing free e-resource. Oh, yeah. Head over to briangarvin.com and check out his free affiliate guide. Cool. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of pure gold. Wow. You can find the link in his YouTube bio. Easy peasy. Okay, now back to Dogecoin. The big question on everyone's mind, I think, is can it really break out mm. from its meme status and become, you know, a legitimate player in the crypto space? Yeah, that's the million dollar question, isn't or it? Or is it destined to just stay a, what, a speculative asset? driven by hype and social media trends. Well, several of the sources we have here actually connect Dogecoin's potential to this upcoming election. Oh, interesting. Specifically, a possible Donald Trump win. Mm. And, you know, his link to Elon Musk. Right, right. Like Miles G Investments. He's pretty outspoken about this. Yeah, I've seen some of his stuff. He believes that if Trump wins, Musk will probably have a big role in the government. Wow. And he thinks that could lead to some serious Dogecoin promotion Interesting. from, you know, inside the government. Yeah, yeah. He predicts a huge market surge, so big that he's putting six figures into Doge himself. That's a bold move. It is. He's really putting his money where his mouth is. And it's not just him. No, not at all. Business data also suggests that a partnership, like a Trump-Musk partnership, right. could really kick off a massive rally for Dogecoin. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder... Could Dogecoin become a political pawn in all of this? It's possible. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen. Of course. But it's something to think about, right? Definitely food for thought. <laughs> yeah. So Coin Codex, mm -hmm. another source we looked at, they actually bring up some interesting points. Oh. They point out that Musk's past comments about Dogecoin. Right, his tweets and stuff. Especially some remarks he made at a recent Trump rally. Oh. Oh, yeah. They've already cost some pretty big price jumps. He's got that power, you yeah. know? Yeah, he's like, he can move markets with just a tweet. The Musk effect. Exactly. He's like the Pied Piper of crypto. Huh. I like that. And a lot of Dogecoin fans seem to be following right along. Mm. So the question is, yeah. is this all just hype? Right. This connection with the election, with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Or is there, you know, something more substantial going on here? It's hard to say for sure. Right. I mean, could we really see a scenario where Dogecoin actually benefits mm -hmm. yeah. from a certain political outcome? Well, it's worth considering both sides. For sure. That for before, you know, just jumping on the bandwagon. Exactly. And, you know, speaking of Elon Musk. Oh, can't escape him. All of our sources agree that he's a huge E factor in Dogecoin's story. He's a big fan, isn't he? Coin Codex even mentions that back in 2019, oh, yeah. Dogecoin developers were actually working with Musk. Wow, really? Directly to improve the coin's functionality for payments. Interesting. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah, definitely more than just tweeting about it. Right. And Business Dad, he goes even further. He highlights how Musk has always favored Dogecoin. Over what? Bitcoin? Yeah, over Bitcoin. For payments, I mean, he even lets people buy Tesla merchandise with Doge now. That's true. And he even suggested that one day you might be able to buy a whole Tesla. No way. Yeah, with Dogecoin. Can you imagine? Right. It's like almost unbelievable. It would be huge. But, you know, with Elon Musk, anything is possible. Yeah, that's true. It seems like he's genuinely interested in making Doge a real payment option. And that kind of backing from someone like him is, I don't know, invaluable for any crypto. Definitely a game changer. So we've got the election. We've got Elon Musk. But what about the price of Dogecoin? Right. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, let's get a little technical for a second. Okay, am I ready? See what our sources are saying about, you know, Doge's market performance. Sounds good. So Silenix Crypto, he's one of our sources. He looks at it from a technical analysis point of view. Okay. And he actually bought Dogecoin recently. Interesting. Because he sees strong support levels on the charts. That's usually a good sign, right? Right. But he also cautions that it's lacking momentum right now. Oh. He points to the dropping open interest. Hmm. What does that mean exactly? 
Well, basically, it means fewer traders are actively involved in the Dogecoin market. Oh, I see. So it's not all sunshine and rainbows for Doge. Yeah, despite all the hype. Exactly. So it's like a party that's starting to wind down, people heading home. I like that analogy. But, you know, maybe another group is about to show up and bring the energy back up. Uh-huh, right. Speaking of different perspectives, James Crypto Guru, another analyst. Okay. He's got a different take on Dogecoin's price action. Interesting. What's he seeing? He spotted something called a cup and handle pattern. Ah, on the charts. Yeah, on the four-hour chart, to be precise. And what does that mean? Well, for those who aren't familiar with this technical stuff. Yeah, break it down. It literally looks like a cup with a handle forming on the price chart. Okay. And it's usually considered a bullish signal. So the price is going up. Well, it suggests the price is, like, building up energy. I see. Could be ready for a breakout, you know, to the upside. Got it. And in this case, James sees it as a potential signal for Dogecoin to break out towards your dollars and 15 cents. Hmm, not bad. So we've got Selnik seeing a lack of momentum and James seeing a potential surge. Two sides of the same coin. Right. It's like looking at the same cloud and seeing different shapes. Yeah. And to add even more fuel to the fire, Business Dad mentions a recent MACD cross. Okay, that sounds technical. It is. It's a momentum indicator that traders use. Hmm. A cross happens when certain lines intersect. Gotcha. Suggesting a shift in momentum, basically. Okay. And Business Dad compares this recent cross to a previous one. Oh, yeah. That actually led to a massive Dogecoin pump. Interesting. So it might be history repeating itself. Who knows? Maybe. But, you know, past performance doesn't always guarantee future results. Oh, right. Of course. So this brings us to a key question for you guys. Let's hear it. Is AppW the time to buy Dogecoin? Hmm, good question. Or should you wait for, like, more concrete signs of momentum? Yeah, what do you think? I mean, the technical picture is a bit mixed right now. Some signals pointing up, some suggesting weakness. It's a tough call. It's like standing at a crossroads, each path with different possibilities. Well, I see what you're saying. And speaking of making informed decisions. Ooh, a transition. If you want to really level up your online game, don't miss Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. He's a bat. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Catchy title. Over 12,300 words of pure gold to help you succeed in the digital world. Wow. Head over to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Got it. Okay, now the link's in his YouTube bio. Okay, so we've got the election, Elon Musk, the technical stuff. Right. But let's zoom out a bit, see how Dogecoin stacks up against other meme coins. Good point. It's easy to get tunnel vision on one coin. For sure. Coin Codex actually points out that Dogecoin has kind of underperformed. Oh, really? Compared to others like Pepe and Whiff. Interesting. They've seen huge rallies recently. While well, Doge has been lagging behind. Exactly. Hmm. So what does that mean? Well, could it be that Dogecoin is about to catch up? Maybe. Make a big move of its own? Could be. Or is it a sign that investors are moving to newer, riskier meme coins? That's the question. It's definitely something to think about, right? Yeah, it makes you wonder. Is Dogecoin losing its shine? The OG meme coin. Right, or could this actually be an opportunity? Mm. For those who believe in, you know, Doge's long-term potential. Like buy low, sell high. Exactly. Buy low, sell high could now be the time to buy before it takes off. It's tempting for sure. But before you make any decisions, right. let's shift gears a bit and explore what the future really holds for Dogecoin. Okay, I'm intrigued. Beyond the memes, beyond the speculation. The big picture. What are the long-term prospects for this coin that started as a joke? A joke that's gone global. Exactly. This should be good. Yeah. Yeah, can it really, you know, transcend its meme origins right. and become something, you know, legitimate valuable yeah or is it just destined to be like a flash in the pan a fleeting internet sensation exactly so let's see what our sources have to say about you know doge's future okay sounds good so coin codex outlines some potential advantages that could help dogecoin like what well for one the dogecoin foundation they're actively funding protocol development okay so they're investing in it yeah which means they're working on improving its security and efficiency that's important for any crypto, right? Oh, absolutely. You need people to trust it. Yeah. Security breaches and stuff, that can really hurt. For sure. And it seems like they're taking this seriously. That's a good sign, then. Yeah. And they're also talking about transitioning to a proof-of-stake system. Proof-of-stake? <laughs> yeah. It's um, a different way of verifying transactions. Okay. And securing the network, the blockchain. I see. It's much more energy efficient than the proof-of-work system 
that Doge and Bitcoin use. Ah, so it's better for the environment. Exactly, which is becoming a big deal. Yeah, for sure. So this could make Doge more appealing to, you know, environmentally conscious investors. Yeah, that makes sense. Plus, with proof of stake, you often get rewarded for holding your coins longer. Oh, interesting. So it could encourage people to invest for the long term. Hold on to their Doge. Exactly. Sounds like the Dogecoin Foundation is making some smart moves. Yeah, it seems like they're addressing some of the, you know, criticisms. The challenges. Right. And let's not forget about Dogecoin's inherent advantages. The stuff it's always had going for it. Yeah, like it's fast and cheap transactions. Compared to what, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, those guys are slow and expensive. Makes Doge much more practical for everyday use. Right, like buying a coffee or sending money to a friend. Quick and easy. Exactly. It's like cash versus waiting for a bank transfer. Yeah. I get it. Dogecoin's all about speed and convenience, no, but... There's always... Uh, but... There's that elephant in the room. Right. Coin Codex acknowledges it, too. What's that? Dogecoin's value, it's still largely driven by, you know... Ray. Meme appeal, social media hype. Ah, uh, not necessarily strong technology. Yeah, not groundbreaking innovation. So that's the big question. Right. Can a coin built on humor and virality... Internet jokes. Yeah, can it really achieve lasting value? Hmm. Or is it going to fade away? When the next big meme comes along. The meme cycle is ruthless. It is. So it's like trying to predict if a viral video... Oh, I like this. ...will become a classic or just, a you know... A forgotten relic. Yeah, a fleeting moment of internet fame. Speaking of things that last... Oh, nice transition. Are you building a sustainable online business? Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide can help with that. Over 12,300 words of proven strategies. Head over to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Link in his YouTube bio. All right. So we've looked at Dogecoin's potential. Attack the challenges. Right. And now let's get to the fun part. Ooh, the price predictions. Everyone loves those, right? Gotta see those juicy numbers. Our sources definitely don't disappoint. Lay it on me. We've got a whole range of price targets. From conservative to what? Crazy? Yeah. Some pretty wild ones in there. Okay, I'm ready. So Miles G Investments, he's super confident Dogecoin will hit one dollar. A dollar. Hmm. He believes it could turn a one hundred thousand dollar investment into a million bucks. Wow, that's a serious return. A million dollars from Dogecoin. The dream. Right. But business dad, he goes even further. Oh no, he's not done. Nope. He suggests three dollars is possible. Three dollars. And he even throws out a conservative target of twelve. Twelve dollars. How does he even Fibonacci retracement levels? Fibonacci, what's that? It's a math thing. It appears everywhere in nature. Like seashells and stuff. Yeah. And some traders believe it applies to financial markets too. Interesting. So basically prices tend to like retrace or pull back okay. in predictable patterns based on these Fibonacci ratios. So business data is saying that Dogecoin could retrace to $12. Before going even higher. Potentially, yeah. It's yeah. a big jump from its current price. Huge jump. But remember, these are just predictions. Right. No one knows for sure. It's like trying to predict the weather. You can look at the models, but... A storm could pop up out of nowhere. Exactly. Unpredictable. Right. Let's hear what James Crypto Guru has to say. The short-term guy. Yeah, he's more focused on those short-term movements. Okay, what's his take? He sees a potential pump to $0.25, maybe even $1.45. Based on those patterns we talked about. Yep, the cup and handle formation. Right, suggesting buying pressure, building up. Leading to a breakout. Yeah. We'll have to see if he's right. And finally, we've got Coin Codex's prediction from their algorithm. Okay, what's the computer saying? It suggests a rally to $0.60 in early 2025. Hmm, not too shabby. But they also warn of a retracement after that. So what goes up? Must come down, at least a little. So everyone seems to agree that Doge will move. Yeah, but no one's quite sure how much or when. Makes sense. This is where it gets interesting for you guys listening. Yeah, what do you think? Which predictions resonate with you? What factors will really drive Doge's price? It's a good time to do your own research. Explore different viewpoints. Form your own conclusions. Think for yourself. Absolutely. Critical thinking is key in the crypto space. Especially with all the noise and hype. So much information out there. Gotta filter it. And speaking of filtering, if you want to become a savvy investor, here we go. Don't miss Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. The 12,000 Words of Wisdom. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. You can find it at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Link in his YouTube bio. Okay, so we've talked numbers. Price predictions. So let's step back for a second. Bigger picture. Yeah, what will Dogecoin's legacy be? Hmm, 
Will it be remembered as that quirky internet thing? A symbol of what meme culture and finance. Right. Or will it be something more? Something that endures. It's a great question. Dogecoin's story is really something else. It shows how unpredictable the internet is. Started as a joke? Now look at it. Massive following. At a crossroads. Power of community, speculation, digital currencies, it's all there. Yeah, it's fascinating and it raises some big questions. About the future of finance, for sure. The role of memes, internet culture shaping markets. Decentralized technologies disrupting things. Dogecoin's journey has been remarkable. No doubt about it. It's challenged how we think about value. Captured the imagination of so many people. And it's still going. It's a story that's still unfolding, isn't it? Yeah. So as we wrap up our... Uh, our Dogecoin deep dive. Right. I want to leave you guys with a question. Okay, hit me. What do you think Dogecoin's legacy will be? Hmm. That's a good one. Will it be remembered as just, you know, a fleeting meme? Right. Or, you know, maybe a pioneer of internet culture in the financial world? Yeah, or something even bigger, something more lasting. Exactly. It's a question worth thinking about. I mean, For sure. Dogecoin's story really shows the power of, like, what, the internet? Yeah, the internet age. I mean, it started as a joke. Total joke. Gained this massive following. Unbelievable. And now it's at a crossroads. Yeah. Maybe it'll inspire, you know, a whole new generation. Of investors, developers, who knows? Yeah, maybe it'll push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. In finance, right. Exactly. Proving that even a joke can start a revolution. Uh-huh. I like that. Or maybe it'll just fade away, leaving behind memes and memories. That's the internet for you. It's been a wild ride exploring this whole world of Dogecoin. It has. From those humble meme beginnings. To the U.S. election. Right. And Elon Musk, can't forget him. The Doge father. We dove into that technical stuff. Charts and indicators. The fundamentals, even those price predictions. Some pretty wild ones in there. And we saw how Dogecoin has, you know, grabbed everyone's attention. Sparked debates, challenged how we think about things. For sure. But the biggest takeaway for me. Yeah. And I hope for everyone listening. Let's hear it. Is that. Dogecoin's future is, well, it's uncertain. Totally unpredictable. It's at a crossroads. Which path will it take? Exactly. And its fate depends on so many factors. Like what? Well, will Elon Musk stick with it? Good question. Or will he move on to the next shiny object? He does that sometimes. Could a Trump win really fuel that Dogecoin pump? Some people think so. And the big one, can Dogecoin evolve beyond its meme status? become something more. A legitimate asset. Yeah. Those are the questions that will shape its destiny. Fascinating stuff. It's a story that's still being written. We've only just started to explore it. Just scratched the surface. But that's what makes crypto so exciting. Absolutely. Always changing. Always something new. Full of surprises. Pushing the boundaries. Who knows? Maybe we will be buying Teslas with Doge someday. <laughs> right. Stranger things have happened. In the crypto world, anything is possible. But for now, I think the best approach is Stay grounded. Yeah, do your own research. Make informed decisions. Don't just follow the hype. Exactly. Think for yourself. And speaking of making informed decisions. Oh, you know what's coming. If you want to be a savvy online entrepreneur. Check out Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Over 12,300 words of proven strategies. You can find it at briangarvin.com. Brian with an I. Link in his bio. So... As we wrap up our Dogecoin deep dive. It's been real. Remember, the future is unwritten. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible in crypto. Stay curious. Keep exploring. And maybe you'll be part of writing the next chapter in this incredible story. Who knows what the future holds?